because you were talking about what's going on in your business, where you want to go, right? I want to I want to ask you some questions about where you are and all that good stuff. But Brett, man, what what's going on in your wholesale business right now? Tell me about where you are, because you 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 of course are above my large group students, right? Like you're in a position where you understand wholesale. Um, you get it. You want to make more money. You got big goals. So it's not really understanding, you know, how to wholesale more so how to do it more consistent. So tell me a little bit about your business right now, bro. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, that's, I mean, my, I'm in the W2 right now. My, my goal was to be out of the W2, um, by December 31st. Actually, I was going to give myself a, a new year's Eve gift and, and quit the job. Um, my intention was to be doing 30 to $50,000 a month. Um, by the end of the year, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I got, uh, I got two little wiener dogs. All they good, bro. They get, they get excited when they see someone at the door. Um, yeah, so my, my goal was to, um, you know, get to that 50 K per month mark, but it was kind of, you know, something where I'm like, I feel good at doing 30 to 50 K per month. And, I, and at that point I just started wholesaling back in May. Um, right, but I'm, right. I'm just, I'm one of those people that when I, when I find something that I'm passionate about and I've never been more passionate about something in my entire life, I played college athletics and yeah. I've never been more passionate about something like real estate before in my life. I just, I, I don't, it's insane. Yeah. Um, so uh, month one, I did like 22 K and nice, assignment. bro. Yeah, man, it was, uh, I got a FISBO and then I JV to deal, uh, had an end buyer just through, you know, networking just for the last year, year and a half. Didn't really ever see myself getting into wholesaling. I always yeah. wanted to do fix and flip. And then my buddy was trying to get me to be an agent, a full-time agent for him. And then someone introduced me to wholesaling, which I knew what wholesaling was. I just, and they're like, dude, with your sales background, they're like, you truly need to look at wholesaling. Yeah. Um, so, you know, dove into it in May. Um, so threw up 22 in May and then goose egg kind of just one of the paralysis by analysis things, yeah. uh, June and July. So threw up goose eggs then. And then I did like, I think 15 in August, Good, bro. Uh, did like 12 or so. I think I'm almost at 70 K. Um, just since I've started, no, bro. So, you know, you know, nothing to sneeze at, but I'm, it's, it's I, the way that I am is like, I expect to just be crushing it. And especially like when I saw those early results, I knew it wasn't really, you know, replicatable just because the fact that it's like, okay, dude, you're, you're first month in, like some people take six months to a year. To yeah. Get their first deal. Like, yeah. You know, you're going to have to put the work in, but you know, and, and I was excited about it. And then. So August, September, October, close deals every month. And then uh, me and my buddy, uh, one of my business partners, we closed on a flip mm -hmm. uh, early October, just finished it, just listed it, super pumped about it. Um, and then we actually, me and my fiance closed on our second Airbnb. So we were awesome. working on getting that live. So it, it, in no way, shape or form am I letting those be the excuse, but it, my focus got away from wholesaling. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm feeling the ripple effect of that, uh, in November and December. Mm -hmm. Uh, basically once we went live with the Airbnb and I kind of, you know, things got settled down at the flip, I was able to sit down for about a week or two, got some really consistent things working, but just nothing, you know, came to fruition since then. Yeah. Um, but it, it's kind of like, <clears throat> so basically I have co-dispositions managers, I have an MLS acquisitions guy and I have a direct to seller acquisitions guy. Okay. Um, and I just started PPC about mid November. Okay. Um, I fired my cold caller. Uh, it, it just, I think a cold caller it, again, I don't, I don't know how deep you want me to dive into. No, where, no. Where, yeah. Uh, keep going, dude. All, all of it. I want to know all of it. Yeah. So, um, Fired my cold caller. I've had a cold caller since the end of May. Uh, I was using an REI call center, uh, and then I really found out that I could hire a full-time cold caller for the same exact price, so I switched over to Eric Klein's cold caller. Um, I, 
that's a lot of data pulling, even just for one cold caller. And it's a lot of list management. It's a lot of skip tracing. It's obviously attainable to do it for me, but I, I, that business model just did not resonate with me because mm -hmm. I see wholesaling as a way to one, quit my job. And then I want to remove myself from the business and obviously not completely, but just remove myself from the business because I have a newfound passion for traveling and just basically just building a business and scaling. So that's kind of why I went to the inbound lead side of things and yeah. went PPC. Yeah. Um, I actually talked to Seamus Goss uh, for about an hour and a half, and he had 15 cold callers, four act managers, um, and two lead managers. He came home from a trip and he fired everybody. Man. Kept one, kept one act guy and one dispo guy. And he's like, I'm leaving the country for six months next year. And he's like, and I'm running a six figure wholesale business just by inbound lead marketing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so to me that like, I don't want to build this, you know, with 15, 20 cold callers and 10 act managers and stuff, you know, mm -hmm. I, I think if I could just run lean in a perfect world, what he said really resonated with me where I'm like, dude, if I could just have one act manager, me, a dispo manager and we're just crushing, you know, you know, I, my ultimate goal by mid year next year is to get to six figures per month, every single month. Yeah. Um, definitely doable. That's, yeah. And so that's kind of where I'm at. So I signed up for Astro. So I'm an Astro flipping student. Hey. I haven't, yeah. I, I haven't finished that, those modules yet, but I'm at, like, and I don't want to sound off putting here, but like, most of the stuff that I'm going through, it's like, okay, I, I kind of already knew, like, right. knew that. And, it, right. and I don't want to say that in a bad way. Cause like Astro, the model itself is just, it's, it's ingenious, man. It's mm -hmm. like wholesalers always have deals. Agents always have deals. Yep. It's infinite. I yep. mean, dude, you have your own acquisitions team. You have your own minions running around mm -hmm. all times of the day. So I love that model, but I don't want that to be my, just my, that's my business. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, and I, and I really like the direct to seller side uh, as well. And that's kind of why I went the PPC route Yeah. Uh, there. So again, I have an MLS acquisitions guy. I have my direct seller acquisitions guy. I have my co-dispo managers. Just they're both ones in school and one works full time. One of them is actually my cousin. Um, and again, it, it's kind of where I saw it is, I saw myself scaling to that 30 to 50 K per month quicker by finding people to, for me to start kind of offloading jobs. Mm -hmm. Um, did I do that too fast? I don't know. Did I not become enough of an expert in, you know, that area before offloading it? Am I doing a shitty job training? Am I putting too much, you know, I'm kind of one of those people 